This goes out to my wife, Michelle. Miss Cook, Lady Rue. Lady Rue, Lady Rue, Lady Rue. hold me down, I love you. She's a woman of integrity, focus on eternity. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Did You Go to Church Today. I'm your host, Lady Rue. And it's your boy, Slugger Rue. And today we're going to be speaking on trust. Can you trust the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. That's an excellent uh, topic. We talked about trust before on our show before, but I think it's always good to reiterate or talk about yes. things that we had talked about Amen. previous times. Amen. This is a new season, so it's going to be a new type of trust. Amen. Yes. It's going to be a new thing that you got to do in this new season. Amen. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and not leaning on our own understanding. And it's in Proverbs 3, it says, My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity love let love and faithfulness never leave you bind them around your neck write them on the tablet of your heart then you will win favor and win, win, will win favor and a good name in the sight of god and man and in proverbs 3 and 5 it says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on to your own understanding amen Amen. God wants to know, can he trust you with some things? After all you done been through, and you sick and tired of being sick and tired, trust in God. Put everything, just throw in the towel. I give up, surrender, and trust him. God wants to do some things for you, but he wants to know, can he trust you with these things? Like, you know, no need of getting some, and it's not your time and not your season, and then you do away with it, something crazy happened and it's all gone after all you've done, all you've been through. But it's, it's not in, you're not in the right place at the right time to be blessed. Can you receive that blessing? God wants to know, can I trust you with the blessing? I done bless you, now where are you? Amen, that's good, that's good. I mean, because we got to understand it. And I was thinking about some stuff while she was talking about Bind it around your neck. I mean, yes. you got to have it around your neck so you will know what's going on. And that's what talks about the yoke. Like, uh, the yoke, put it around your neck so you know what you have to do. Yes. Amen. And that's good. Uh, I'm just thinking about that thing. Trust. Amen. Let me see your phone real quick so I can see what uh, jumped out to my heart uh, as you was reading. Uh, that's the NIV. Okay, okay. It says, uh, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. So amen. you have to have love and you have to have faithfulness, amen, in the, in your walk, amen, with, with God. It says, write them on the tablets of your heart. So you yes. have to make sure that you put this thing in your heart. Yes. It's a heart thing. The Lord yes, touches your heart. And then it says, then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Amen. Yes. If, if I don't care about anything, I know that I want my name to be good. Yes. Amen. Have my name great. When you speak yes. my name, it'll talk about gospel or yes. the God that I serve. Amen. Yes. So love and, and faithfulness has to be with you. It says, never leave. It says, bind them around your neck. Yes. And then it goes on in five, like she said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. Amen. And lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him yes. and he will make your path straight. Yes, Amen. So if you're trying to figure it out yourself, Trust in the Lord with yes, all your heart. Amen. Then it says, in, in all your ways, submit to him. So yes. all your heart, all your ways. So he's talking about all of you. Everything. Can, can he trust you everything. with everything? Yes. Amen. And, and then it goes on and says, 7. Proverbs 3 and 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. So stuff that comes up your way, shun it. That's not of God. Yes. Uh, evil things. You know, don't, don't take them into this new year, which we're in. Don't, yes. don't take them into that. And it says, this will bring health to your body uh -huh. and nourishment to your bones. Yes. Honor the Lord with your wealth. Oh, Lord. Amen. We weren't even going to that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now they think I'm my money. Amen. <laughs> I am a pastor. She's the first lady, but we ain't talking about that. But look at this. This is what the word says in Proverbs 3 and 9. Honor the Lord with your wealth. Yes. With the first fruits of your crops. Amen. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing. Yes. And your vats will brim over with new wine. Glory to God. It says, my son, do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent, resent his rebuke. So that's all my Lord God. I know you're disciplining me. Yeah, I know I can't really Lord. get things yes. that I want to do. You're testing me. You're uh -huh. trying me. Tribulation in me. You know yeah. how I realize I'm going through. I'm Amen. going through. Yeah. But it says, do not resent his rebuke. Sometimes you need to be rebuked. If you're yes. um, not doing things good with your wealth, things are going to come and, and come against you. If you're just covering your pastor or your leader, may even give a word about uh, your, 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 your funds or your finances or yes. your wealth. Amen. Yes. And those things are good. So now we can understand because this says 12. 
Because the Lord disciplines those he loves. Yes, he does. As a father, the son he delights in. So we go through things in our life so we can trust our father. Trust yes. the God that we serve yes. uh, through everything that going everything, on in our Everything. Because some of the things that we go through, not trying to cut you off. No, you never do. You, it be so rough and so tough for you. And, and then all of a sudden, bam, here come my help. Mm. Which my help coming from the Lord. Yes. So, so he brought you to your Lord so you can know. And... That couldn't have been nobody but God. Because I'm steady calling on people. I'm seeking other people. They can't help you right now. You know why? Because God is the source. Yeah. God is the source. You have to, you know, seek him. Amen. And in 13, it says, blessed are those who find wisdom. Yes. So in God, you got to, Lord God, give me wisdom, yes, knowledge, God. understanding. Yes, Amen. Lord. So I could be uh, more creative in, yes. in, in my thought patterns to do things for you, uh, for, for wealth, whatever it is. It says, those who gain understanding, yes. for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. Yes. So your wealth uh, really... It makes sense, but it doesn't make sense mm -hmm. uh, because God want to get you from thinking about money, 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 wealth, wealth, wealth. He says if you have wisdom yes. and then you got understanding, it is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. Yes. Amen. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. We're talking about wisdom now. Wisdom. So he's talking about trust me. Yes. And when you trust me, I'm going to discipline you. Yes. Don't get mad at my rebuke, but then you're going to get wisdom and understanding through that. Through that. So through the past 11 years, we uh, just came out of 11 years. Now we're in our 12th year. Yes. We're going to be saved in, in 2015. Uh, we have learned so much wisdom. Yes, so I much wisdom, wait. knowledge, yes, and understanding Lord. of things to do and things not to do. Yes. And I just thank God. I, I thank God for my wife because she, she gets it in with me and uh we, we're in this together yes 16 yes. long life is in her right long hand. life in her left hand riches and honor uh -huh. people always talk about you don't have to talk about money and talk but god is a god of all these yes, things he, he wants you to be because complete. one thing about a blessing first thing a person think when you say i'm gonna bless you first thing they're gonna think is money right and then that's nothing wrong with that because money, it takes money and revenue to live. Right. You know, you have to have money to get gas, to eat, yes. to um, take a bath, brush your teeth. Some places water might be free. And right. some places right. like when you're trying to, um, when you're leasing or whatever, you got to pay water, sewage and all this and that. Everything takes money to do things. So yes. don't think it's just about the money. God wants you to have the money, but he wants to know, can he trust you with it? That's good. If you don't have it, you can't be trusted. Right, right. And then if you're you're, you're wasting it or yeah. not a good steward, because it always goes down to even stewardship. He gives you things so you can be a good steward of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lord, you gave me one talent. Am I going to bury this talent or am I going to make more? Amen. Yes. And that's that's the, the good thing about it. He says, long life is in her right hand uh -huh. and then her left hand riches and honor. 17. Yes. Her ways are pleasant and yes. her ways uh, and all her paths are peace. Yes. So, it's pleasant ways and it's peace. Amen. Yes. We've been having peace. Even though it be hard sometimes, yes. like, oh, God, I need this amount of money. Oh, Lord God. But we, we, and we trust in him. Yes. So when it's short or shortage, you're like, Lord God, I trust you. But when it's overflow, you be ready for the yes. shortage. Me and yes. my wife always have something in our home. We talk about get ready for the long haul because we oh, know yes. that, you know, some days, days to come. You know what I mean? We may be low, yes. we may be high. I mean, we contend in it because we're peace. We have peace in it. Yes. 18. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Yes. Those, <coughs> those who hold her fast will be blessed. Amen. So as we hold on wisdom, it'll be a tree of life. Yes. Uh, it's going to grow branches. You know what I mean? It's yes. just going to be truly a blessing all from that seed. Just one seed. All from that seed of faith. Amen. Amen. 19. By wisdom, the Lord said, no, by wisdom, the Lord laid the foundations of the earth. By Amen. understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, are the watery depths were divided and the clouds let drop dew. Yes. It says, my son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. Yes. It says, they will be a life they will be life for you an ornament of grace around your neck. Now I was talking about everything came back in full circle. Now keep it around your neck. Keep that thing around. Like this thing is around your neck. Around neck. Your a cross crosses around your neck. Keep God around your neck. So Amen. you are uh no. Hey, this is God. It's a remembrance is, of yeah, him. Yes. I, I, I got something on me. I, I got yes. I gotta do this thing. Yes. You know what I mean? And then it says, then you were going on your way in safety, and your foot would not stumble. Would not stumble. Glory to God. We were just gonna 
only going to do Proverbs 3 and 5, but this is a blessing how the Lord yes, is leading is. us to, to read this whole scripture. Amen. Because as we find uh, trust in the Lord, we get wisdom, we get knowledge, we get understanding. Amen. Amen. Yes. Sometimes we got to get beat up by the Lord, by yes. trial, tribulation. Then we learn how to uh, use our wealth, our first fruits, yes. and then we'll be wise. And then it goes on and says, and then when you lay down, your sleep will be sweet. Yes, it will. I know sometimes it'd be hard to go to sleep sometimes. I can't go to sleep like her. She just sleep. I'm talking, hey, let she sleep. I, it take me a minute, amen. amen. But it says your sleep will be sleep. Your, yes. your sleep, sleep will be, be sweet. sweet. Especially me. if you pray before you go to sleep. Amen. I amen. always pray before I go to sleep. Sometimes I don't get, most of the time I don't get out on my knees, kneel beside my bed or lay prostate. I get in the bed and I just start talking to God. And God, he has a sweet spirit. So that's probably why I be knocked out so quick. But I always try to pray. And if I, I'm still up after praying, I grab my word. I keep a word on the, on the side of my bed. Got to keep them close to you. I trust in that word. I read that word. And last night, I opened it up. Whatever I opened up to, that's my word before I go to bed. And it said, I'm a, I am a friend of God. And I thank God for being his friend. And then this is who you trust, your friends. So if God is your friend and you trust him, he could trust you with some things. Amen, amen. It says 25, have, fear, have no fear of sudden disaster amen. or of ruin that overtakes the wicked. Mm -hmm. It says, for the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. So he's talking about your whole life. life. Yes. Uh, your neck, well, your neck is part of your head, and your head is what you think, and your feet is what you use to walk, walk with. with. Amen. Yes. So he's saying, even as I'm around your neck, I'm going to keep glory to God. Yes, keep your God. mind thinking Thank to where the Jesus. way you need to go, yes. and your foot will not stumble. Yes. Amen. As you trust God with all by seek yes. out of our you, all your heart, all your, your mind, yes, soul, God, and, and he God. will just leave. Amen. We back. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And we just thank God for that. Amen. If yes. you guys want to know how you can get in contact with us or bring us to your church, amen. Yes. Because this year we're doing our ministry back again. The amen. music and everything, we're getting it in. Just hit us up. The info will be down below. Sluggeroo.com. Check that out. Amen. And it's some straight things that, you know, that we just stand for amen. God, y'all. Did you go to church today? The, the show was good. If you want to be a guest on the show, just contact us. Uh, we can get you on. And, and man. Do your interview, whatever. Let us know what you got have uh, in your life going on. You want to tell people about you got things coming up. Let us yes. know. Amen. We just want to spread the love of God. Oh, and, God. Uh, you know, we ain't, what, what, we, we not haters. That's the word. We're not haters. Come on. Whatever you got going on, we want to promote you. We congratulations. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, hey, whatever it's you got going on, enough for everybody. Amen. Amen. Uh, whatever that is. Amen. Yes. So, so, thank you for joining us on Did You Go to Church Today with Lady Rue and Slug Rue. Peace. We walk by faith, all we do is by faith I can see it, it's by faith I believe it, it's by faith I receive it, it's by faith What you gonna do?